Hello, my loves. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new weekly vlogy vlog. So today is Monday, January 30th. Okay, we are almost done with January. Like, can y'all believe it? We are done with one month of 2023 crazy in today's video i'm just gonna bring you guys along of my weekly festivities so if you guys want to be nosy if y'all want to see what i do this week what i wear this week what i eat this week all of that then go ahead and keep on watching before we get started do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel hit that red subscribe button down below we are growing and glowing and i don't want y'all to miss it so make sure you guys subscribe give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment after you're done watching and without further ado let's go ahead and get started i started off my week on a productive note i did not make it to the gym today i know i just lectured y'all last week like no, make sure you search up my name how you want your to call i was out here preaching and baby i was even listening to what i was saying but it's okay because honestly my body is in so much pain for my consistency last week that i was like i'm gonna just take it easy today and then tomorrow we in yoga y'all already know the drill tuesdays and thursdays we in yoga so I don't feel too bad because I was able to get some things done. So I really wanted to get my one. I had to do one sit down video. Well, I had to record one sit down video for the week, which is going to be uploaded tomorrow. But I wanted to just get that out the way because I already have Thursday's video ready. So I got that done. I was able to straighten up my kitchen because maybe my kitchen was a mess. And um, I was able to get a lot of work done for my job. So. I don't feel bad because I got a lot done today, but yeah, I was still productive, but just in other ways, you know what I'm saying? So I got real cute today to record my video. I literally woke up at like 6 p.m. from my nap and got to it. So I'm really happy that I was able to be productive so late because baby, in 2022, I would have been like, find somebody else to do. I'm not recording no video at 8 p.m., mm -mm. but I did it. So I'm proud of myself. So yeah, makeup is looking real good. I have this lamp in here, but I feel like I need more lighting in here. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. But I'm about to review the footage of what I just filmed to make sure it looks good. If it don't look good, I don't know what to say. Cause in my mind, I'm like, I am done for the day. I'm clocked out, baby, okay? No more pain, no more pain, no more pain, no more. What's your favorite Mary J. Blige song? Because I don't know what it is, but I've just been on a Mary J. Block kick. I posted two videos on TikTok. It's so funny. But make sure y'all follow me on TikTok. Y'all know I'm new to the game, but I'm here, okay? I'm a reach. So make sure y'all follow me at Kinesthetic underscore. I'm trying to upload consistent, consistently, but we will see. I just started vlogging, and it's currently 9.30 p.m. basically, but... I also had a very crazy hectic day so long story short my ipad just decided to just stop working midday like babes you have stuff to do who told you to clock out who told you to clock out who told you to even take a 15 you have things to do i have all of my notes here for the video i recorded today my digital planner is on my ipad with like you know everything i had to get done for the day so i freaked out because i'm just like whoa i need my ipad my ipad needs me like what are you doing here so basically what had happened was, let me see. My iPad, is just stopped working. Like I'm touching the screen, it's not working. I'm tapping on the keyboard, it's not working. Like the screen is just black. So I was like, let me plug it in because I charged it this one. So I knew it was charged, but I'm like, maybe when it's on the charger, it'll get its act together. So I put it on the charger and the screen lights up, but I'm not able to touch it. I'm not able to type. So I'm like, hold up holiday. This is an iPad Pro, P-R-O, and it don't need to be acting up. So what's going on? So I just ate. I lay down. I'm like, you know, a nap kind of solves everything, right? So I napped and then I woke up and I'm like, damn, still got to deal with this issue with my iPad. Because one thing about me is when things are going wrong, I'm going to just lay down and take a nap. But then when I wake up, I realize like, girl, you still got to figure things out. So I'm like, I bet. I was going to go to the Apple store, but when I woke up from my nap, I'm like, my body is not going anywhere right now. Like anywhere. So I'm going to just put my little lunch lady net on. So I... Called Apple and I told her like, Miss Mama, the thing isn't working. I'm gonna touch it and it work. I'm gonna type and it work. So I'm like, oh, what's going on? And she's like, oh, um, did you try to like force restart it? And I'm like, no, because on the iPad, I know to force restart, you press like the lock button and the volume up. So I tried to do the same thing on my iPad and it didn't work. So she's like, no, you have to tap the 
volume up and then volume down real quick and then hold down the lock button so i tried that and it ended up resetting the ipad and then it was working so just a little tip in case you guys ever experienced that or if you guys know anyone who experiences that press the volume up and then the volume down real quick like doo -doo, and then hold the lock button and that should restart your ipad and solve that issue but i was scared because i'm like i don't have the money for a new ipad right now and i'm at the point of my life right now where if i don't have my ipad my life just isn't together like it's just not together so yeah but footage is fine um i'm gonna go take my makeup and stuff off now these are the lashes i'm wearing i've been loving these lashes these are the ardell lashes from like their naked collection in 421 and today was probably like my sixth time wearing this exact pair and they still look good so if you're looking for lashes that are affordable and look good check out ardell's naked collection i should shut this down because i haven't restarted my imac in a minute i'm gonna shut it down make sure you guys are powering off your devices often so clean up my desk a little i like coming in my office to a clean desk in the morning and i've been drinking water out of here all day this cup is from target this is a part of tabitha brown's collection with target it says take care what is it take care of yourself i love the message so i got two of these from target because i'm like i don't know i just like buying things in twos is it just me i don't know but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and shower take my makeup off and just unwind so yeah i'll talk to you guys tomorrow Clearly, IT is not my strong suit this week because why is my work laptop just frozen? Your pin is required to sign in. Tapping the keyboard, nothing happens. Pushing my mouse, nothing happens. It's like these technologies are just like, babe, we don't want you to be productive this week. I just don't get it. I don't work for the genius part. I'm really not the strongest cookie when it comes to IT. So when things aren't going right, I'm just like, just tell me what I have to do. Just tell me what has to be done. I'm not an IT girl. I'm not. I'm an accountant. I do what accountants do. I do numbers. Okay. Is that going to work? Is that going to fix the job? Okay. Restart it. Let's see. Let's see what to do now. But I was sitting here, you know, doing my thing, being productive or whatever. And all of a sudden, it just freezes. this. Real freaking cute HP. Real cute. Right idea, wrong girl. Because guess what? You ain't never stop me, okay? You never gonna stop my greatness. And that's on that, period. So, oh, your girl got a blue screen. AKA, I don't stop my work. I'll be back. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Can I have a tall brown sugar shaken espresso with oat milk? Sugar, yeah. Pardon? Could I complete the order today? Do you have cinnamon raisin bagels? What? Cinnamon raisin bagels? No, we don't have cinnamon raisin bagels. We have everything bagel. Just everything? It's an everything bagel? Um, it's fine. I'll just take the drink. Okay. It'll be five six. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I have not drank Starbucks in so long, but I just feel so tired. I don't know what it is. So I was just like, let me stop and get me my little BS. What is it? Brown sugar shake. B S S E. Brown sugar shake and espresso. I didn't even tell you guys. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all what day it is. Hey guys, it's Tuesday, January 31st, the last day of the month the first month of 2023 and i'm going to yoga this evening but before i go to yoga i wanted to stop at the store so sushi sent me this um this tiktok yesterday of um this girl shopping in the store called pop shelf which seemed like five below but like better than five below so i want to stop there to see what they have um because the girl like she got stuff for five dollars six dollars so i said okay so i'm gonna go check it out i think i have money on my starbucks app let's see so that's where i'm going that's what i'm doing and um i'm gonna go to yoga and then i am gonna go home oh i just realized something oh i'm supposed to use this time i need to start writing shit down <laughs> i'm supposed to be using this time to freaking i have leftovers still but i'm supposed to be using this time to 
cook dinner so when i come home from yoga all i have to do is eat but but in other news my mom's birthday is coming up so i just booked my flight to go to new york for her birthday because she she wanted to come to houston for her birthday but um it's just more convenient to celebrate her birthday in new york and then she's gonna come down afterwards so y'all know how my girl feel about houston okay she want to be a little texas girl so freaking bad so she's gonna come down after her birthday and we'll do stuff down here but my girl cr if y'all don't follow her page make sure y'all follow her i post her all the time on instagram her cooking page is cook with c c c i c um i'll have it on the screen but she shares so many recipes and i just like take her recipes and you know make it plant-based so she uses cheese i use my cheese okay but um she hit 10k so i want to go because i still have her birthday gift that i still haven't gave her since like the beginning of december so i think i'm gonna go visit her and kai tomorrow i like making my friends feel special especially when they accomplish things whether they believe it's big or small i always like to make sure my friends today's payday since it's the last day of the month <laughs> money's already gone bills are paid things are set up so i'm just happy that that's done and i don't have to think about it anymore the first thing i do when i get paid is i um pay my bills and i don't i don't think i have any of my bills on auto pay and i know people are like just put it on auto pay so i don't have to remember to pay it but one thing about me is the way that most of my bills are due they're like random days like none of my bills are really due on the first besides my mortgage but the auto pay would hit like on the 12th and it's like by the 12th i don't know if i'm gonna still have money for you <laughs> so i'd rather just give you the money now and I have to worry about whether I have money for you on the 12th or not. You know what I'm saying? Are y'all the same way too or y'all prefer auto pay? Comment and let me know. But I'm a, I'm going to go in and pay you type of girl, okay? I'm going to write it down and I'll remember to pay all my bills because I don't need anything cutting off on me, okay? Not the water, not the lights, not the nothing. My lips look so freaking oily. <laughs> oh shit, I got to pay. <laughs> Thank you. Can I have a straw, please? Have a good day today. Thank you. Thank you. Too. Oh, I gotta go back around. Ooh, don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. I'll just pull up here so I can taste my drink before I dip off. Don't do this. I do not advise it. It is for the professionals, aka not me. <laughs> I know I do not know how to drive. For us. Crack my right open. um car karaoke is done i was listening to destiny's child fulfill album that's one of my favorite albums ever but we are here at pop shelf it took me long enough to get over here so we're gonna go inside it looks pretty empty and i got the first parking spot up front so i'm not going there but let's go ahead and go inside let me show y'all here is where we are pop shelf pop shelf okay i don't know if they have this in every state but there are a couple here so i was like let me just Pop in and see what they got in Pop Shelf.
So I'm in a Nike clearance store now. I found sneakers for $20. They have riffs in here for $20. That's so cool. These are so cute. So this is what I used to put my sneakers on when I travel. Okay, so I I stopped at the Nike clearance store and I got two new gym bags because this is my current gym bag and it's crusty, dusty, musty. Mm -mm. So I can finally put her down. Let me show y'all the two bags I got. I got this backpack. I'm going to show y'all when I get in the house better. And then I got this little cute tote bag situation for every day. So I'm going to put my stuff in there before I go into yoga. But I'm about to be on my way. They had so many cute things in there, y'all. They had the riffs I have for $25. Okay, $25. So any of my friends, if you guys... um. Well, up here. I'll probably come back here before I head to New York. So just um, text me and let me know what size. They had like um majority of small sizes. Like five, women's five, women's six. But I'm a woman's eight. So they didn't have my size. But I already have like two pairs of the black ones. And then one pair of the white ones. So I'm like, I'm good. I look bold. Ooh. Text me and let me know after y'all see this vlog. That's why it's important for everybody to watch my vlogs right away. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm about to head to yoga. I'll tell you guys what I got from Pop Shelf and Nike when we get in the house. We'll do a haul. I'm so hungry, but I know I should not eat before I go to yoga. So let me find an album to listen to. Hey you guys, so I am back home. I successfully went to yoga. It was hard for me to find a parking spot, but your girl made it, okay? So I wanted to give you guys a quick little haul of things that I picked up while I was out the house today. When I get home, the first thing I want to do is take off my clothes off, baby. Okay, let's start with Nike. So you guys saw I went to the Nike outlet and I got two bags. So the first bag is this backpack. This is so cute. And then look at the freaking chain detail. Like what? So I, don't, I haven't told y'all yet, but when the weather gets a little warmer, I want to start like going on hikes and like walks outside. So I got this little backpack because I just felt like it was so cute and appropriate for the excursions. Like, so cute. And it has little things to hold a water bottle. <laughs> Call me Dora the Explorer, baby, okay? So I got this one. I can also use it to go to the gym. But baby, this is my new gym bag. Like, this is like a little tote bag. It's like a little tote bag and then it has like a crossbody or like shoulder strap. This is so freaking cute. Like, oh my God. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna pack it tonight. With all my gym goodies, okay? My coat and my room temperature bottle of water will be in here. Heading to the gym with me. I can just throw my keys in. It has a little pop organization, okay? So each one of these bags, and this one also has like the chain detail. So I'm guessing this is probably a collection that Nike had. Super cute. So each one of these were $30. So this one didn't have a tag on it, but this one did. So the original price of the tote was $80 and I paid $60 for both of them. So yeah, that was a great buy. And by the way, I went to the Nike clearance store in Pasadena. If anyone is in the Houston area and interested in going, they have great stuff in there, okay? I couldn't even really look because I was in a rush to get to my yoga class, but I will be back. And then from Pop Shell, quick review. I like the store. The staff was very standoffish. Like no one said anything to me while I was in the store. And I'm like, this is awkward. Like, I don't know. I feel like being down south and experiencing Southern hospitality, people at least welcome you when you come in the store, even if they don't speak to you for the rest of the time. So it was just weird. But I got, okay, Miss Cole, I was just about to call her. I got these three eucalyptus branches because I want to put them like next to the sink in my guest bathroom. So I got these. These were three dollars a piece. And then I got two of these vases. Like how freaking cute are these? I don't know where I'm gonna put them, but they're cute. These were five dollars a piece. And then I got two mugs. So this is the first one. It has like this texture on it so cute 
two dollars period it's a great store if you just move and you're trying to get like kitchenware and stuff like that i highly recommend it i really wish that i went there when i first moved here because the plates were fire but i was like i don't need any more plates right now i'm one person there's one person here i have extra plates when i have guests i don't need new plates right now but whenever i'm ready to like you know expand my plate collection or get new plates i will be a pop shelf i also got this mug Ooh, ah, y'all know I love me a good mug. I love this one. This one has more of like a striped texture. The other one was more like dots. So I got one and one. You know, I already have enough mugs, but and then I got 17. The mugs, the other mug, this one was $2.50. And then this tea was $3. It's cozy chamomile because baby, my period is very much so on her way. So that is all that I got from the stores today. I'm gonna go eat something, take a shower, and get to bed. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Catch me dangerous. Been so lost without you all around me. Get anxious. Leave me. Don't back it's all about you. Need a dog right now. Need a dog, but I like it. Comfort in my Nah, y'all, it is so cold outside. Y'all probably like, girl, you only have a sports bra on. Of course, it's gonna be cold. No, it is free all outside. It was snowing in Dallas. They talking about ice storms. But baby, I'm not into the gym because your girl needs to look the freak good, okay? So, today is, what today is? February 1st, the first day of February. So, happy February, happy month of love, happy Black History Month, okay? I'm praying that we all have a successful, blessed, healthy, productive month. I pray that God blesses our hearts with everything we desire, plus more because we deserve it, period. So, yes, I have just been resetting all morning. I usually like to do my reset on the last day of the month, but it got done today. So y'all saw me, I washed dishes. I'm doing laundry as y'all can probably hear. I took the garbage out and when I come back, I still have some more things I'm gonna do. So I wanna go to the gym now before the after work crowd comes storming in. I ain't trying to deal with that, but I'm dumb hyped because guess what's coming out today in my new gym bag. I packed her up. And can y'all believe, I looked on Nike's website because I was like, I need to give you guys a link or some, you know, product information. This bag is still in stock on the Nike website for $82. Like, $82. So, I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested. It's like the perfect size for a gym bag because it's not um, too large and it's not too small. It fits everything. It has the crossbody. Okay, this looks so freaking cute. Let me show y'all. Ignore the stuff on the sink. I need to organize in here when I come back. But look how freaking cute. Oh, so 
cute so yeah i saw a bag in lululemon too the other day and i don't know what it is i don't know what it is but i just can't see myself giving lululemon a hundred dollars for a gym bag i looked at the prices in there and i'm like i get it it's lululemon but baby they are basically asking to garnish wages and it's not giving that so if i find a lululemon on sale of course i'll be a lulu girl but if i have to pay regular price to lulu I don't know y'all, I'm gonna have to find a sugar daddy for that or something, but let's go. <laughs> I've been fucking on a French bitch till I be. I just put them on a jet, now they all the tight. Way I'm dressed until I've been to a thousand dollars. This bitch live by getting shots, but she's still a style. She don't even get the joke, but she's still smiling. Every night. Swear I am. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, let's go. Late night, like I'm like you Cody, turn me up. Cody, turn me up. Cody, turn me up. So, I want to make my medicine bowl at home. Copycat Starbucks medicine bowl recipe. I'll link it down below. Let's see what it says I need. Jade citrus. This. If you're looking for workout clothes, come to Target. They have so much stuff on sale. Whew. These Beyonce concert tickets. Hey y'all. I look crooked. It is Thursday. It's Happy Friday Eve. It is February 2nd. And I haven't been on a vlog all day because I have been busy working. So long story short, I was trying to upload a video for you guys today, but... What had happened was, <laughs> nah, um, what happened? Oh, I had a copyright strike and it's, it's still like processing <laughs> cause I was just trying to mute the damn song. Let me see what it's doing now. So that didn't go up today and I was just like, it is late. I'm not gonna put up a video at 6 p.m. So it's just gonna go up tomorrow. And then I was just busy like doing work work cause y'all know I have a nine to five job. And it's Thursday, so where are we going today? Y'all know me so well, yoga. So I just got ready. I cleaned up my kitchen, <sighs> my gym outfit for the day. I'm wearing this burgundy set from Target. You guys know my favorite set in burgundy. And my waist is slimming down, so I'm hype about that. This gray tear hoodie, my new bag, y'all know. <laughs> and then I'm wearing my gray sneakers, so. Oh, I don't have a, do I have water in my bag? So, let me just take a room temperature water. Little babies, probably best song. But either way, um, I'm at the gym. I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. I look so cute. Okay, I have to go though. Can I put y'all on? <laughs> I'm so late. Take my driver's license, cord. Hey you guys. Hey, happy Friday. This bag is so damn loud. Oh, so. <laughs> it's Friday, Feb 3rd, and I just got to the nail salon. I'm getting my nails done because baby, when I tell y'all they hanging on by a thread, they're hanging on by a thread. So, um, oh shit, I said I'll be here by 305, it's 305. The phones, Kim. Oh, it's not tripod. Let's go. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. 
after he make him a dick. Rob his heart, this is a sticker. I can be falling in love with a neck. Pockets were small, they got bigger. He did me wrong, what I do? Acting a smoochie when I'm off the liquor. Showing my thumb, going cool. Throwing it back and I watch him get bigger. Baby, I watch how I move. Bitches, they see me, don't know what to do. Like, daddy, I got in my mood. If I make a munchie, he eat me like food. Yeah, he eating it up. Kitty on water, he beating it up. On fire, heating it up. Bitches be dirty, I'm cleaning them up. Me a tissue. Why would I miss you when you was the issue? Go with a shoe if the shoe doesn't fix you. Only around me when it's been official. Stop texting my phone. Nigga be feeling like leave me alone. Back in my zone. Don't want the feelings, I just want the cup. Daddy, he making me thick. Rob his heart. This is a sticker. I can't be falling in love with a nigga. Pockets were small. They got big. He did me wrong. What I do? Acting a smoochie when I'm off the leg. Showing my thong. Going cool. Throwing it back and I watch him get bigger. Throwing it back with it right in his face. He like our taste. Our taste. He grabbing my waist. Uh-huh. Got him itching to stay. He the bank and I'm making him chase. Yeah. I'm a baddie, I'm having my way. We got him munchie so he cannot date. Like. He a eater, I'll make sure he ate. Yeah. No, you cannot have your food back. Hey, y'all. So, I didn't really speak to y'all, but it's Friday. Happy Friday. I just came from getting my nails done. Like, when I tell y'all she did a great job. Like, look, she did the heart french with these little heart details okay valentine's day nails i have no plans but the nails is dead okay so i sat with cherry again at milano in the heights so um same person who did my nails the last time i was like let me stick with my girl because she did a damn good job okay try to get y'all up here but yeah so i got my nails done i just came from Cabo. i don't know if y'all can see it in the back but y'all know i keep this place running so i just came from Cabo and I got cute today just because I wanted to get cute today. Um, I will. I'm, I recorded a reel and a TikTok. So that will be up with details. But you guys know I got this jacket from ASOS. If you guys don't watch my collective try on hauls. I'm telling y'all to watch them. Because I get things. And it's not that I take long to wear things. It's that I don't really be having a way to go. So when I do have somewhere to go. I'll put it on. But if not. I'm not going to wear this in the house. Like y'all see how cute this jacket Like I got so many compliments. So many people ask me like. Where you got that jacket from so don't wait when i upload a collective channel haul make sure you guys go check it out okay and then also i did my makeup today and i wanted to say that i have this amico mascara on like can we get into the lashes can we get into the lashes amico like what i, I don't think y'all have seen this like the lashes are lashing period and then i also have on their lip oil in the pink shade with some brown lip liner so it's given amico okay period so i kind of i don't know where i'm going next i feel like i look too good to go home okay so i kind of i kind of wanted to go to the mall but i also shouldn't be spending money but i mean i'm trying to see if this jacket is still in stock i'll link it down below even if it's not oh yeah it's out of stock <laughs> i feel so bad because i hate i hate when somebody shows something they like oh it's no longer in stock like so why are you showing me <laughs> why are you showing me I'll be back when I figure it out, y'all. I took some red light selfies. Let me see what they look like. Ooh, 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 ooh. They aight, they aight, they aight. I'm at the mall. Mm. Mm -mm. About to chow down a bit. I don't want to get myself dirty. So let me just take a, a munch, a little munch. I think my tripod did, y'all. Okay, one more top of the lashes. What's up, my? Ooh, I have a little. Ooh, I have two fragrances in my bag. I love these little fragrances because I just throw them in my bag. So I have her, her by Burberry. I actually, I'm convinced, y'all. I'm finally gonna like get the full size of this. It smells so good. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna get the full size of her. I've been convinced, y'all. Not in my mouth. 
at first I'm just like eh. But as I try more of the mini samples, I'm like, yeah. My lip gloss, let me show you. This is my lip gloss by Avi Cole. It's a black owned brand that's now available in Sephora. And the shade is Bliss. So let me soak in so y'all could see. So cute. Perfect touch to like a everyday soft glam look. Okay. I have my bag. I have my phones. And that's it. So let's go. Y'all yeah, know this gray jacket I have. They made like a new version of it. So this is the reference code. I'll link it down below too. But so when I have a soda. Pants is a tea. The top is a medium large, so I feel like I might need the extra small small. And the pants is actually small small. Is this skirt giving uniform? Definitely need a size smaller, but it's kind of giving me school uniform. Alright, so there's a Marshalls over here. So I'm gonna go in here and see what they have. Um, it's freaking traffic for me to get home. It's like twice the travel time. So I'm like, let me just stay over here and see what I could do. They carry Peugeot and Marshalls. Mm -hmm. They carry Peugeot. Mm -hmm. They carry Peugeot. Mm -hmm. They I'm in TJ Maxx now. I forgot my camera in the car. So I'm vlogging on my phone. Found this candle. And I found these. Have y'all tried this before? Vanilla orchid and almond. You wanna say hi? Say hi. Oh, maybe my pocket. Hey. They miss you. Yeah. Miss what? They miss you. <laughs> Oh, me? My phone about to die, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> Look what I found in TJ Maxx, y'all. And it's only $6.99. It's a fabric shaver. I tell y'all all the time, everyone needs one of these. So freaking good. Oh, this fridge always wants to start making noise when I want to record right here. I need to Google if there's a way to make your first be quiet. <laughs> like, go ahead and I woke up. <laughs> Shut it up. Oh my mental. <laughs> I feel like fridges make so much noise and it's just like, for what? If your ice machine is on cool, but y'all know how I feel about ice machines, turn them off because they're running your water bill up. But why you gotta make so much noise? All you gotta do is chill, literally. <laughs> Quick little shopping haul of items that I got. So, first up, I didn't get anything from Zara. I have found these two tops, so like basics tops, but I was just thinking about it like, I don't need to be spending money on this right now. So, I just felt guilty. I don't know what it is, I just felt guilty. So then I went to Marshalls, and I got this deep conditioner. I feel like I used to use this back in the day, but you know, you start using different things you never really revisit things so i have two deep conditioners right now surprisingly like all out of all of my hair products right now i only have two deep conditioners and both of them are protein masks so you could do protein masks in your hair you know once in a while but to do it every time you wash your hair it's a no so i'm like i need a quick cheap moisturizing deep conditioner so i got this one from shea moisture I feel like it smells the same as I remember it smelling. So comment and let me know if you guys use this deep conditioner right here. But this was $7.99 and it came with 16 ounces of product. So I'm going to try this out when I wash my hair this weekend. So then I went to TJ Maxx. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like homeware is better in TJ Maxx because 
it's like more concise like you don't have as many things to look through as like compared to like a home goods but you have better quality things than like a marshall's i don't know if it's just me but i found some great things in tj maxx okay i went to the tj maxx in memorial city if anyone is curious it's like um a tj maxx and then a marshall's and a home goods together but like they're in the same closet y'all get what i'm saying so look story short i don't know if you guys remember about a year ago we went to atlanta kim my mom and i and we stayed at an airbnb that was my mom's first time ever staying at an airbnb if y'all didn't see that vlog i'll link it up above but my mom had a ball like my mom that was her first time in like eight years getting on an airplane so yeah my sis got on that flight she came with us on that trip and ever since then she has not been able to sit down and stop traveling but i love that for her so well we were in atlanta we stayed at an airbnb and you know airbnbs have little cute things that are like shareable items like um they'll have like uh, coffee pods or just things that it's like you can use it you feel comfortable using it and you don't have to worry about people like double dipping or like spitting it y'all know what i'm saying so they had tea and it was this tea right here and we tried it and my mom and i loved it so we went on amazon and ordered it and it was like ten dollars i believe i found this in tj max for 450. is this tea right here secret garden lemon ginger so if you guys pop into your tj max you guys see this i'm telling y'all to try it if you're a tea girl like me you need to get this and i'm gonna go ahead i need to wipe it down but i'm gonna put it right here in my little tea station okay so i got all of them that was here so i got four <laughs> because i'm like it's less than 50 percent off of what we paid like can y'all believe that i told my mother i'm like look what i found i was like what i'm like yes girl she like bring some for me i'm like i got you and then i also found this in tj maxx i'm gonna need y'all help with this one right here <laughs> this is a nest diffuser it's the reed diffuser but i'm trying to get more into like um different scents options in my home because i have candles but after i'm done with the candles i have i want to get into more like wax melts and fusers just things where i don't have to necessarily like like something up for my home to smell good you know what i'm saying like the plugins are cool but my friend was telling me that plugins aren't the healthiest option i don't know y'all they say everything isn't good for us but i want to get more into diffusers and um wax melts is that what it's called yeah so i found this diffuser in tj maxx it was 35 dollars and the regular price is 60 dollars it's like compare 60 dollars this is a vanilla orchid and almond so i feel like i couldn't smell it in store without opening one of them and i'm like i wouldn't want to open it and then that's something somebody could have bought you know what i'm saying so i was just i'm gonna bring it home i'm gonna smell it if i don't like it i'm gonna bring it i'm gonna bring it back to the store but i need y'all help because i'm like i don't know how i'm supposed to set this up so it comes with the sticks and i've seen this in people's homes before my dad always used to have these in his house he used to get his from like crate and barrel or like one of them expensive stores child i mean i'm not it came with these sticks and then it oh smell this smells good like in the store and the i wasn't really able to smell it because you know there's candles and all types of scents and stuff this smells so good oh my god now i see why the girls are raving about this now i see why now i see why the girls are raving wow i think i've instantly turned into an escrow like i'm really trying to also invest in candles more like by better quality candles so oh girl <laughs> i might have to go back to tj max okay so it comes with this i don't know if i showed y'all but this is like the liquid the set i'm guessing i don't know y'all correct me down below if i'm saying things oh let me read the box and see what it said it comes with is there instructions am i just supposed to know how to do this it's on your tight number. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Bedroom finna turn up. Okay. Oh my god. I can't wait to smell this after I take a shower tonight. Okay. So like this. Oh my god, who is she? Uh, who is she? I think I found 
my favorite purchase of the day. And then I also, oh, I got this mug from my mom. Cute. It's actually like for my mom, like, <laughs> how do I explain this? My mom puts together gifts for my niece to gift like her mom and her dad like on Mother's Day, Father's Day. So I bought this so that my mom can curate a gift for my niece's mom, if that makes sense. So it's not like for my mom, but it's for my mom. You know what I'm saying? I got this tray. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I found it in like the bath section, but it's like this tray. It's like this nice beige color. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this in my bathroom or somewhere else around my home, but I just felt like it was slim, simple and sleek. So I was just like, let me pick it up as I see it. But um, hmm, she may look kind of cute with the diffuser in her. But yeah, this is a tray just so y'all can see it one more time. And then I put the sticker on the back just in case it has to be returned, y'all know me. Oh, I bought this candle, but on second thought, I'm gonna return it. It smells so good though. So maybe, I don't know. It's a Sand and Fog Mango Tangerine Candle. I showed you guys this candle in the store. It was $10, so. It's a three-wick candle, but it smells so great like this. And like the spring or summertime burning in my home. But I told y'all, I just said I'm trying to finish the candles I have and then I'm done, but then I go buy another candle. So it was like, girl, what you really, what you really want? What you really trying to do here? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. And then. This. this is so cute. This is so cute. And it's like fake, so it don't shed. And they only have one. I wanted two to put one on like each nightstand or somewhere around my home. I just like buying things in tools because I'm like wherever it can go and be like symmetrical, it can go and be symmetrical. So I got this one because I oh, this is $30. Damn girl, you really don't be really looking at prices, but I'm like I'm gonna check like Marshalls, TJ Maxx's, and Home Goods to see if I can find another one. I feel like I saw one at a Home Goods I went to, but I'm just gonna like see. Y'all know I'm always in one of their stores, so I wanna put this on my nightstand for now. That's everything I bought, but um, I wanna go put these things on my nightstand and see how they look. So please hold, and I'ma bring y'all in with me, okay? Y'all gonna come through, come through. Y'all yeah, what? This looks so cute. Ah, I'm obsessed. Let me bring y'all back. Oh my god. So I put the vase here with the fake pompous, the faux pompous, the diffuser on the tray. And then I brought out this candle because I just feel like it fit the aesthetic. The aesthetic, not aesthetic, aesthetic, okay? I got this from Ross during the holiday season, but I love like the texture, it just brings everything together and adds like, you know, a little extra character. So that's how that looks, I love it. Comment and let me know what you guys think. It's temporary because I definitely wanna have some type of like lamp or something over here. So I'm gonna see, but I'm just like placing things as I go and you know, I can always move things around. So just wanted to give you guys that update. Now we move into real life things because my room is a mess right now. Like. It's just crazy. It's not too bad, but I was recording a reel as I told you guys, and I just have things all over the place. My bathroom, like, do y'all see all that's going on here? I was gonna put these on today. Let me show y'all. But I was saying I was gonna put these on today, but I couldn't decide on an outfit to wear with them. These are the glasses I bought myself uh, for Christmas. Tom Ford's. Okay, I think they're still available, so I'll link them down below in case anyone is new and would like to get these. But these are mother freaking tea. I'm telling y'all now, because when I wear these every day on every trip to the airport, to the beach, to the club, to here, to there, I want y'all to know where I got them from. And I want you guys to have an opportunity to get them too. So I'm going to go ahead and link them down below. The only thing, I wouldn't really wear these with makeup. I mean, I can, but they just get a little dirty, okay? But... Let me clean up my bathroom and my closet so that I could, you know, get myself together. I'm trying to be, it's currently 9.30. I'm trying to be in bed by 10.30 because I'm going to, oh, I didn't even reserve. Let me see if I'm going. Let me see if I can reserve it. Okay. 
I have my spot reserved. Yeah, I'm trying to be in bed in an hour so that I could be at class tomorrow and not be exhausted. Sidebar, this is the mascara I was telling you guys I used earlier by Amico. I'm just obsessed with Amico right now. And y'all saw how obsessed I was with my lashes today. So I'm gonna link it down below. Do what you wanna do with that information. But when my lashes are touching my freaking baby hairs, just know it was at Amico, okay? Just know what's this. This is a Lash Amplify Mascara. When my lashes are reaching my baby hairs, don't say I never put y'all on. Don't say I never put y'all on. Period. Happy Saturday. Today is February the 4th. And I didn't even tell you guys what happened. So long story short, first of all, I woke up on my period. So my mood is just shot. I didn't make it to my class this morning. But I did wake up at the time that I was supposed to wake up and I started editing this vlog. So, you know, we make it strides to get things together. But um, I had ordered a few things from Zara and I was rushing to order. And of course, I forgot to change my delivery address. So it ended up shipping to the Bronx versus Texas. So when they came, my mom sent them to me and they just came. I'm gonna look through it and I know I have to return some things. If I was sure of my purchase, I wouldn't have had her send it to me because I told you guys earlier in this vlog that I'm going to New York this month. So I had ordered two sizes of certain things. So I'm like, it needs to be returned within the return period. So I was like, yeah, you could just ship it to me. So she sent it to me and she was like, why don't you just delete the Bronx address from your account and I'm like I would do that but sometimes um maybe I should and I'll just put it back if anything but sometimes I'll be in New York and I need to order something to send to New York so yeah but let me look through these things oh my god I don't think I knew what I was ordering I just pick stuff it's kind of cute but I'm gonna do a full Zara haul for you guys so you guys will see those items there so make sure y'all check that out when it drops but let me do this and then i'm gonna finish editing and i kind of want to go outside today so i'll check in with you guys in a few hey guys so it's a little later let me fix y'all up i was just recording a reel so my camera's all crooked but hey guys it is a little bit later and i just got dressed to go out okay i look real cute i had to throw the puff back because it looked too good yesterday with the baby hairs today's wash day but <laughs> we moved so i wanted to show you guys a little thing that i got for myself so i haven't bought myself anything like expensive or any let me just say designer items in a while because you guys know i moved in september i had to save up for my move so the last time I literally bought something for myself besides the Christmas gift I got for myself was for my birthday back in May. And if you guys watched that video, I showed you guys that I got a pair of Jean Vito Rossi's, my first pair, the silver ones. And I love them. Like, I love them. I've been wearing them and wearing them and wearing them. They're so freaking comfortable. But when I went to buy those, I had seen these other pair of Jean Vito Rossi's and I wanted to get both of them. But I'm like, I knew myself. I was like, I'm in savings mode because I know I'm moving in a few months. So I'm going to just go ahead and get these one pair of shoes and call it a day, baby, okay? So I had the pink shoes on my birthday wish list and people were trying to get them for me, but you couldn't even really find them in store like at Bird Off or Nordstrom or whatever. So I'm just like, okay, it's not meant to be right now, okay? Because delay never means denied. So I um, had them saved on several websites. And if you guys watch that, I'm just show y'all the shoes first, okay? So I went ahead and I bought myself the other pair of Jean Vito Rossi's, okay? Myself the other pair, because I found them on sale, deeply discounted, okay? Before I, let me just show y'all shoes. Jean Vito Rossi, boom. I recorded an unboxing 
Reels slash TikTok. So you guys have probably seen that already or you guys are going to see it the day after this vlog or two days after. Who knows, child? Okay, okay son. Come on in. <laughs> so these are them. Oh, so freaking cute. They're this metallic pink color and these are the Jean Vito Rossi Spice Ribbon and Metal Bloom. And I did have to get these in a size 40 and a half. Yes, 40 and a half. Because I'm usually a size 39, but these shoes run super small. So I'm happy that I went in the store and I tried them on. Because if not, baby, I would have been screwed. So I ordered these in a 40 and a half. They were 60% off, as I said. I think they were like $3.98. So I'm just like, well, let me go ahead and get them. Because every other website that had them on sale did not have the size that I needed. So when I saw these, I got these from Netta Porter, by the way. Netta Porter. Oh, oops. <laughs> And I was just like, let me just go ahead and get them because every website that has them on sale hasn't had my size. So I'll put a video here from that previous video where I tried them on so you guys can see what they look like on. But um, I'm happy I bought them when I did because they literally sold out right after. And I was just browsing on the internet one night casually and I ended up finding them. So I got them for myself as a little gift. Like, you know, just a little just because cause you need that just because sometimes okay so i got these i'm really happy about these i already have my outfits put if you know me if you know kentra if you know kinesthetic one thing about it is i'm gonna always have my outfits planned before i make a purchase so little luxury unboxing slash gift to myself i have the link down below for netta porter and also other websites that i had them saved on sale so if you guys are interested in getting these shoes you guys can explore the links down below and get them on sale they also come in like a metallic green, like an apple green. But I prefer the pink because I just prefer the pink. <laughs> they came in black too, but the black, it went right away. But I really, really love these shoes because let me show y'all. I don't know if this is true about all John Vito Rossi shoes, but their shoes have like a cushion on the toe bed. So baby, they're comfortable. And I love that in heels because I'm getting old y'all. <laughs> I'm pushing 30. So at this point in my life, I really pay for comfort. Like, if things are comfortable, I'm gonna buy them. If something is more expensive because it's comfortable, I'm gonna buy that one. Before I close off this vlog, I wanted to say, I don't know if they went on sale already or what. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to say something without saying too much, but Beyonce is going on tour as we probably all expected, and baby, she is coming for our points, okay? She said, just hand over your paycheck when you get it. Like, just put auto pay to Ticketmaster because I'm taking your whole paycheck. I'm garnishing wages, okay? She's out here garnishing wages. And I'm like, Beyonce, the girls are not rich like you, okay? You just got $24 million in Dubai, babes. Like, I understand you still want more, but <laughs> not for me. <laughs> not for me. Why does it have to be for me? So, I'm trying to go see Beyonce on tour. <sighs> the whole ticket buying process has been a lot, but... I really wanted to see her in Houston because you guys know I live in Houston now. Houston is her hometown. And I heard the last time she went on tour, she put on a show for Houston, okay? But two things. One, I'm like, the ticket prices are more expensive in Houston than a lot of other cities. And two, she's doing Houston towards the end of her tour. So I'm just like, imagine the pain of watching stories from May to September of this tour. And then you know she's going to come here and do an additional one too, but it's like I already seen the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that she already did in the other cities. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of want to see her towards the beginning of her tour, so I'm trying to plan and see. But yes, comment down below. Let me know if you guys are planning to go see Beyonce on tour. Are you guys paying these ticket prices or are y'all like, er, mm -mm, find somebody else to do it? Because I, I was on the edge because a part of me was just like, it's Beyonce, like this may be her last tour. But then another part of me is like, girl, the tickets is too expensive. So I'm gonna see what I could do. I asked somebody to give me tickets. They said they would give me tickets. I still don't have tickets in my email, so we're gonna see. But either way, that brings us to the end of today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you guys comment down below and let me know your favorite part of today's vlog. Also comment down below and leave some pink heart emojis. As you guys can see, we're in the Valentine's Day spirit. <laughs> okay nails in love but leave some pink heart emojis any color heart leave any color heart emoji down below 
and leave your favorite part of today's vlog down below as well i will go ahead and link all of the items mentioned in today's vlog down below in the description box so make sure you guys check it out and that is it for this vlog so i really hope you guys enjoy i also wanted to say thank you guys so much for the support on my recent content you guys have been showing out in the comments you guys have been patient with me you guys have been yeah it's been rocking with me and i love you guys so much i can't say it enough so thank you thank you and thank you and i will see you guys in my next video which will be uploaded on tuesday i love you guys so much Say what I wanna hear, cause you know it's gonna get me here. Every time I say that.